Hello guys, it's me again. I've managed to do another video. I'm really genuinely impressed by my productivity. I don't know where it's come from and it'll probably go very quickly, so let's enjoy it while it lasts. This is a video of NAR. It's, well, it's a video of the new Snowdown update that's going to hit League of Legends very soon. It's already hit the PBE, I think, and it features a couple of new skins. You've got a new skin for NAR, you've got a new skin for Bard, and one for Syndra. I don't particularly care about Syndra at all, and Bard's cool, I guess, but I'm not that interested, but Nah, Now, I've been in love with Nah ever since he was announced. He is just the cutest thing in League of Legends. I love him so much. He's just absolutely adorable. I bought him on day one. I can't play him at all, and when I do play him, I genuinely get distracted by how adorable he is, because when you stop doing anything with him, he just looks up at the camera at you, and he's adorable. So his new Snowdown skin has him in a little jumper, and a hat, and gloves, and his beastly version, I guess, is sort of more wolfy, I think, than the other skins. I actually don't like his beast skins at all. I just, I don't know if it's because I think he's too cute and it ruins him, or I'm just not a fan of, like, hulking beast type characters. But, yeah, I just, I like this one because it's more werewolfy than beasty, and I think that's quite cool. Ice wolf-ish, I guess. Um, I love drawing poros as well, they're like the cutest thing ever, and again, they're from sort of a snowy terrain, they're from the Howling Abyss, and they've introduced Pingus, there are new Penguin Wards, um, new Penguin Ward skins, I guess, while they're coming out, and it's just all so adorable, and one of Nar's abilities now, as in his mega form, he throws ice cubes, like icebergs, essentially, instead of boulders and I think they contain penguins in them so it's kind of cruel but also very very adorable so the first thing I thought when I saw them was that I had to draw a picture of this and I got the idea of drawing a picture of baby cute adorable Nar making a snowman version of his big scary form with the help of some poros and some penguins and I think I did okay I'm not sure how well it translates that it's the beast version of Nar as a snowman. I don't think I did his, his sabre fangs very well, but it's a snowman, so, you know, I can I can get away with it not being horrendously accurate. I started, I did the inking again before um, I started recording the video, simply because I was trying out these, uh, you can see one in the side there, the Zig Art and, Tin Graf uh, Art and Graphic Twin Kataki? Kurtaki, I think it's how it said markers. I bought these in like three different packs. I've got I've got a greys pack, a blue and green pack, and a um browns pack. And I bought them not really knowing what they are, and I've been a bit scared to use them because I kind of thought they were alcohol based markers. They're not. They are sort of watercolour marker things. And I thought I'd give it a go for inking because I didn't want to use black ink, I wanted to use some coloured ink. So I thought I'd give that a go and see how that works, and I actually really, really love them. I fell in love with them. You can see how swooshy the lines are around the sort of legs and haunches of the snowman. I just, yeah, I really want to get some more colours just so I can do more inking with them, because I don't have that great a selection, and you can see later I actually go over Nar in my black Pentel brush pen, because I think the original line work was dark enough really to pull off the dark fur colour of Nar. I actually had a really hard time finding a good fur colour as well because he's a sort of pet, not petrolly blue but a certain kind of blue that I did not have in markers. You can see here that I cannot get his eyes right. I wanted them to be really cute and I, I think I did them too angular to be as cute as I wanted them to be but I, I did them in sort of pencil a couple of times and went over them again. You can see that the picture is getting gradually darker and darker. There's the cut there. I um, am using natural light because my first video, if you saw it, I had really dark shadows around my hands because my lights in my room are directly above my head when I'm drawing and it causes really, really dark shadows on the p picture with my heads there or with my hands on the piece. So I've been trying to use natural light and unfortunately that's very fleeting at the moment. 
Um, this picture didn't take me that long. It took me it took me two episodes of Jessica Jones. That's how I measured it. Uh, but in that time, we pretty much got to night time. So I tried lighting it in my video editing software, but it just looked really washed out. And I just yeah. So I think in future I'm either gonna try getting off my butt and starting much earlier, which is going to be hard to motivate, or I think I'm going to invest in some decent lights. Um, so if anyone's got any recommendations as to good lights, I've had a couple of people link me already, so I think I need to get into a proper system if I'm going to take this a bit more seriously and make it look a bit better, because you can see as the video goes on it just gets darker and darker. I'm actually really chuffed with myself that I managed to do this picture quite so quickly, and recording it now I haven't taken as long as I did last time, so I guess hopefully it means that I'm getting a bit more confident with it, which I guess, yeah, that's the aim of the game, isn't it? Just do it more, do it more, and eventually it'll just become second nature. That's what I'm hoping anyways. I really wish I'd done a watercolor, I was so tempted to do a watercolor background on this because there was quite a lot of it, and I really wanted a sort of washed out night sky full of splodges and things, but I was really impatient. My camera battery had already died once, and the light was getting dark, and I didn't want to find out my watercolors and sort it all out, so... We get more smushy, smushy marker marks. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm using a different type of paper than I did in my previous video. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it soaks up the ink just as bad, if not worse. It seems to have more tooth, which is fine for this picture because I wanted a sort of real media, watercolory, natural look to it. And I think I succeeded. Later, after the video, in fact, I went over a couple of details with pencil. Uh, you can see that in the finished picture that I'll link somewhere in the doobly-doo. But yeah, I really would like to get this as a sort of greeting card looking thing. I really had fun doing this background here. I'm using a white gel pen just to fill in sort of sparkly snow. I think it looks really pretty. It's probably my favourite bit of the whole picture. It really makes it pop. And now I'm using this massive great white pen thing. It's one of those ones that you have to shake and then squish the nib loads to get the ink out, and it's a pain in the bum. But it's really good for the snow, the larger dollops, and it fades quite nicely, so it looked... It just looked a bit more realistic, I think, than giant white blobs. Especially on the sort of mottled background. It looked really, really nice on the darker bits of the background, and like on the last tail and that, so I used it. Lots. I think the thing that's made me most happy about this particular picture and video is that I managed to get it in less than 10 minutes. I've been trying to keep my videos more concise, but the trouble is I'm a really, really slow artist. I will take so long to do the simplest things, which is part of the reason that I leave the sketching part and the inking part out of these videos. Maybe when I speed up, I'll be able to add them, but at the moment it's just a logistical nightmare. I'd end up with like 30 minute long videos of like A6 cards and that would be really dumb. But yeah, the video is going to an end now. I sort of fast forwarded a little bit because the light was going dark and just added some pencil bits and some shading and I think I did okay. I hope you enjoyed watching this guys. See you soon. Bye!